Learning to do laundry is not that difficult, especially with the products that we have on the market today. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you six steps in order to get your laundry done. Hi and welcome to the Homekeeping channel. My name's Susan. Here you can find the answers to all those basic questions for around the home, like how to do your laundry. So let's get started. Okay, starting in at number one, we have read the label. Read the labels on all of your garments and linens. Place all garments and linens that say wash separately or hand wash only into one pile. If the label says dry clean only, pay attention and make sure you are taking it to the dry cleaners or you will regret it in the end. Okay, now for step two, we have our colors. Now we need to sort our clothes out into colors. So your whites, your pastels, all of those go into one pile. Your colors, which are your navies, your blacks, your reds, your browns, is another pile. And then we have the delicates, which is lingerie, sweaters, which should be hand washed only, and they go in a separate pile. So therefore you should have three separate piles. And for clothing that has a white background, but an additional, let's say stripe or spots, etc., of color, they can go in with your whites. Now we're on to step three, we're nearly there to put them in the machine, so stay with me. So each pile by fabric. For instance, separate all your whites from any bed linen or towels that you may have put into the pile. So you've got bed linen and towels together, and then you've got your everyday clothing in another pile, which happens to be t-shirts and blouses. Now, if you happen to have any darks, like t-shirts and jeans, you're gonna separate your t-shirts and your jeans into two separate piles. Now we can do a bit of the cheat here with the darks and put them in with the whites. However, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have a pair of jeans, for example, I would not recommend you put them in with the whites because dye, dye does come out of the jeans. Therefore, if you have a black t-shirt and you've had it for two or three years, it is less likely to run into the whites. Therefore, you can reduce your washing pile and add them to the whites. We have to use a bit of common sense here. Now, before we start dumping everything into our front loading washing machine, we need to do one more thing, and that is check all the pockets. Pull out the tissues, the spare change, anything you find, you need to remove it from the pockets. Step four is picking your detergent. Now, when it comes to detergent, I say just go with the tablets everything's combined in it, it's quick, it's easy, just chuck it in the drum of your washing machine and you don't have to think about anything else. However, if you fancy fabric conditioner, fabric conditioner is gonna make your clothes that little bit softer, then you may have a flower symbol in your dispenser drawer. Some drawers don't. Here's an example of mine and I will place my fabric conditioner in the section that's marked below. Now, before you place your clothes into the washing machine, does the washing machine smell? If it does, it needs cleaning. That's what that is. It's mold, it's bacteria buildup. Therefore, your washing machine needs to be cleaned. I have a video on this and it's at the end of this video, so check it out. If you have clothes that are stained, then before you put them in the washing machine, I recommend you use a stain remover on your clothing and then you can just pop them in with your load or if you don't have a stain remover just use some detergent wet the item where the stain is put some detergent rub it in and that will help remove it during the wash okay we're moving into step five now which is picking your washing cycle now most clothing etc can go on a cold water unless it happens to be your bed linen and cotton underwear. We need to remove the body oil so they tend to go on a hot wash. Now if you've got anything that's caked in in real dirt, like I said previously, any sportswear, 
today I'm going to go on a heavy a heavy soul cycle. So therefore, that's going to be an additional part also. But occasionally, if you have things like sweaters, delicate lingerie, then you're going to want to pick the delicate cycle. Okay, we are now at stage six, loading the washing machine and pressing that start button. However, one thing to remember, do not overload your washing machine. If you can put your hand in your washing machine and you can feel the roof of the drum, you are good. If you can't put your hand in there and you are trying to struggle to get a fist shape size in your washing machine, you have overloaded it. You need to take some stuff out. Once your washing machine has completed the wash, you then need to remove your clothes immediately. Do not leave your clothes in there because all you're going to be doing is creating your clothes to get mouldy and stink, which is the opposite of what we need right So remember to remove your clothing straight away as soon as the cycle is done and leave the washing machine door open as it should air dry. And this also goes with the detergent drawer. Again, like I said, I have some tips and tricks in my next video on how to clean your washing machine and keep it well maintained. So please check out that video. Um.